Hey guys, I have a new EDC update video. Uh, this one is going to be a combination between my uh, current work EDC as well as my, uh, I guess, outside of work or home EDC. What you're looking at now is a group of stuff that I have at work. Okay, This is currently, uh, as of this week, <laughs> you know it's always changing, but as of right now, uh, including today, uh, this is what I have on my person at work. Okay, uh, Always to the right, my blade is back to the Spyderco Cricut. I uh, just love this knife. Um, it really shows a lot of wear with the stainless steel handles. But I'm telling you, it's just, it's small, it's compact, it's light. I'm constantly moving around at work. When I'm at work, I mean, I'm, I'm bouncing back and forth. Um, I'm sorting all different things uh, with the mail, so I'm constantly bending over. I have to reach up, you know, on top of things. So I'm moving around a lot, so I don't want a whole lot of weight on me. Um, this being very small, it helps. Uh, I have a pocket clip on here, uh, you know, that comes from the factory. Sometimes I'll clip it to my pocket, sometimes I'm in a rush, so I'll just drop the whole thing right in my pocket. So this little lanyard helps, uh, as well as giving me more, um, more of something to hold on to. You see my pinky wraps around there. Okay, uh, oftentimes, I'm, again, I'm in a rush, doing a lot of stuff. I'll do with the uh, little Spidey drop. Uh, <laughs> this was mentioned a long time ago. Spiderco drops is where, because Spiderco has that patented, uh, uh, their, or I should say, um, you know, they're most known for their hole in their blade. So the spider drop, or spidey drop, is where you pinch that hole on either side and you throw the handle out. Okay, so just by flicking your wrist down, the knife comes completely out. And then you just, you don't have to change your fingers here, you just wrap your hand around and you have pretty good control on that blade. Okay, so you can get your knife out, cut what you need to quickly, and then put it away. So it basically comes out of the pocket, drop it open, make my cut, and then I can put the knife away. So it's pretty fast and effective. Uh, love the knife. Again, this uh, recurve, this nasty recurve with this little tip on the front. Uh, it just bites into everything I'm cutting. Okay, so it makes quick work for whatever I have to cut. So, again, big fan of the Cricut here. Absolutely love it. Went back to using it at work. Uh, as far as my light, um, don't use this much, although there are occasions where uh, I need, you know, if I'm dropping something, you know, behind a, a dark, um, dark object, for example, uh, at work we have this big old filing cabinet, and uh, I think it was about maybe two weeks ago or something, uh, someone's letter uh, who they were trying to get out of the box, it dropped behind there. Uh, so I happened to have my little Phoenix on me, the uh, L1D, and uh, made good work of that. Found it right away. Um, so it's not something I use often, uh, but it is good to have, and I have used it. I needed to use it uh, a good light uh, before. So this one I actually keep uh, on the belt. I use this tab here. I, I put my, or excuse me, not the tab. I fold that back and put this through the, the belt loop on the back, and I carry this on my weak side, my left side of my body. Uh, more actually towards my back than on the side of my body. It's totally out of the way. Uh, it doesn't interfere with anything whatsoever, but it's there if I need it. Um, as far as my watch, I've switched back to my Maritac AQC watch. Absolutely love it. Thinner profile. A little bit, uh, little bit heavier than the other watch, the Adenac, that I was carrying, this digital watch. Uh, but at work, with this digital watch, it's got a huge head on it. So a lot of times if, I, if I'm doing something, my hand gets a little irritated. If you see there, it's rubbing on the top of the uh, the watch face over here. Um, this having a smaller head, being more of a normal size, I guess. Uh, it's not. It's a little more comfortable to wear, uh, even though it is a little bit heavier. Uh, I don't have a problem with it. So I switch back to that. Um, cell phone's the same. As I mentioned last time, I still keep the lanyard on there. Uh, makes it easier in and out of the pocket. Thinner than my old cell phone, which I like. Uh, that's pretty much it. I have a snowflake background. You might be wondering why. It's kind of an inside joke. It goes way back to uh, since I had my first cell phone, you know, when cell phones first came out. Um, actually, you know, <laughs> I'm only 24 years old, but I'm, I'm going to feel old saying this, but I remember when we all had pagers, when pagers were the cool thing before they even had cell phones available, you know, to the, the masses. Um, you know, and, and when you did have a cell phone, if you're a business guy or something, the cell phone looked like a house phone. It was huge. Uh, but anyway... Um, yeah, my cell phone, it works. I bring it to work. I bring it everywhere. Um, and for the most part, I don't have a lot of people calling me. Uh, the only person, people that ever call me are family members, for one, and um, my my work people. You know, if my boss has to get in touch with me, she'll call me. Uh, but I don't really talk, like, with my friends and stuff. I don't talk on the cell phone. I hate really talking on the phone uh, for a long period of time. So for the most part, this is really for emergencies. If I, my car broke down or whatever, um, it's good to have access to uh, other people. Um... Tic Tacs. These are the orange flavor Tic Tacs. I think I'll have one right now. Um, they do absolutely nothing for your breath. <laughs> so don't buy these if you got stank breath. 
Um, no, I just like the way it tastes. So every now and then, uh, when I'm grocery shopping or something, or from at the store, and you see all that crap they have by the counter, uh, you know, by the registered rather, um, you know, all the gum and stuff. Every now and then, I'll just pick up something different, just just to have in my pocket. Um, this, however, is not a breath freshener. Uh, so again. If you're one of those people with the stinky breath, uh, don't be chewing on these. Get yourself some strong mint, please. Uh, <laughs> totally off topic here, but why is it that people with uh, with bad breath always want to tell you secrets? Did you ever notice that? I don't know why. I used to have a friend when I was younger. Uh, I think it was ninth or 10th grade. Uh, I don't want to mention his name <laughs> in case some reason watching this, but a uh, uh, really good friend. But man, he had some stank breath. And he was always, like, getting in close to tell me, like, a secret or something, you know, or he didn't want to yell something. I don't know what it is, but people with bad breath always want to tell you secrets. So, anyway, it does nothing for your breath whatsoever. It's basically candy. That's all it is. I mean, just, it tastes good. I feel like orange, anyway. Um, so I've been carrying that uh, recently. Um, I do, um, I do, uh, am conscious of having gum and stuff like that because I do work at a window where I'm dealing with the public, uh, public relations, um, so, you know, giving people packages and stuff like that. So I am aware, you know, I'm not blowing stinky breath into people's face. <laughs> Maybe I'm just a nice guy because I think about them, but anyway. Okay, last thing here is my work ID badge. Um, you're just seeing the back here. Uh, there's information on the front. I just want, don't want to get out, so I'm just showing you the back here. But it's basically just on a ball and chain necklace. And on the back, as you can see here, I have two items. One is that little Spyderco bug, which is just a cool little um, you know, backup blade. Don't really use it, though, um, but it's good to have. And you can see there it's totally hidden behind the name, name, uh, name tag. But the other thing here is uh, a postal pen. Um, uh, for a while, I had my Spyderco Balio pen, which I used to bring to work and play with. And sometimes when you get kids uh, coming up with the parents uh, up to the window... They like to. They want to try it, you know. And they get they get a kick out of it. But anyway, I recently got some uh, postal uh, clothes, and I picked up this pen, and it had this long necklace thing on it, which I cut off and put a little piece of paracord just to attach it to the back of my name tag. So, because I'm doing a lot of writing too at work when I'm at the window, uh, working with people, constantly signing stuff and writing off and checking things. So, having a pen is good. Just a, a cheapo pen. But uh, anyway, that's my name badge setup here. So uh, I think that's it. That's all my work stuff. Okay, that's me at work. Now, what about when I get home? Well, when I get home, first thing that happens is this name badge gets put away. Okay, so I don't have the name badge anymore. Put that to the side here. Um, all right. Uh, so yeah, the name badge goes away. Uh, whatever candy I have, I just keep on I me. Mean, that's fine. That stays. Cell phone stays. Watch stays. Uh, currently, light stays. However, when I get home now, I'm uh, ditching my awesome little cricket uh, just temporarily because I'm still loving uh, Kylie's customized uh, knife here. So I undo my belt and I put this, uh, I loop this through my belt for the cro uh, cross draw. So I switch out my blade. And then, of course, if I'm going out, uh, you know, to the store or whatever, uh, first thing I do is I grab my Zippo. I know a lot of my Zippo fans are like, dude, where's all the, where's all the Zippos, man? Last couple of EDC videos, you didn't have any any lighter on you at all. Well, again, I, you know, I keep it in my uh, my bag or the car. Uh, it's not always in my pocket. Uh, but anyway, recently I've just been grabbing my Zippo. This has the Thunderbird insert in it. I've talked about this before. Um, this insert is butane, um, so it doesn't leak on you, as well as, nice tight fit here, obviously, uh, as well as it doesn't stink. I know some people's issues with Zippos, they think they're cool and everything, uh, but they stink, and they don't like how, how strong they smell. So this is a great, great uh, alternative. Um, basically, this fits in any Zippo, so you buy whatever style you like, and then you buy one of these. These are like less than 20 bucks. Uh, a bunch of people told me that they still sell these. You can Google it, uh, Thunderbird, um, Zippo insert or lighter insert, whatever. And it's a good alternative. Like I said, um, it won't leak out on you. You have it whenever you need it. It's the same style flame. It's not like a crazy jet flame or anything. So you have that same Zippo look, uh, and it doesn't smell whatsoever. So that's a big plus for a lot of people. So sometimes I'll, I'll grab that. Uh, again, if I don't have it in my pocket, I have it in my bag. It's close by. Uh, but I don't smoke or anything, so I don't need it. Um, it's more like a, uh, a courtesy thing. If I'm with, something, uh, with someone who smokes, I'll use it. 
Uh, people ask me all the time, you know, why, why are you so into lighters? You know, if you don't smoke, what do you need fire for? Well, there's a bunch of crap I use it for. Uh, everything from lighting a candle, lighting some incense, uh, burning all the power cord <laughs> when I'm playing with the power cord, making bracelets and lanterns and stuff. Um, you know, come 4th July, which is coming up soon, I'll be using it for some fireworks. Uh, I'd like to get a, a, vid a, a video out there, uh, going to a fireworks store, which I have by me. That'd be kind of cool. Um, but anyway, I, you know, you find uses for fire, even if you don't smoke. So anyway, sometimes a lighter is good to have. Uh, another thing, it is summer. Got some shades here. Uh, I'm not a big sunglasses person. Uh, for years and years, I've never had them at all. Um, and when I do have them, they're usually some cheap pair. And here's another cheap pair. These are actually by Smith & Wesson. You see there on the side. Got these from Cheaper Than Dirt in my recent order. I picked up some AK-47 uh, stuff and uh, you know some other things I'll talk about in the future. But anyway, these are only like five bucks. And these are actually shooting glasses. Okay, so they have the standard for the impact resistant lenses here. Um, I thought that was a great idea. It's kind of dual purpose. When I do my shooting videos, I can wear these, you know, if it's sunny out um, and, you know, I need, I need to protect my eyes um, or get a better uh, sight on what I'm looking at. Uh, but I can also wear these outside. You know, I can just wear these. I've been wearing them just driving in the car. You know, they keep the sun on my eyes. So they're regular sunglasses, but I can use them for shooting glasses. And again, they're going to be a lot more durable. I know these are going to take a really good impact without shattering or, or breaking on me. Um, and again, only like five bucks, so why not, you know? So, have those, the shades. Um, and then, of course, the last thing that rolls in uh, when I get home is my gun. Um, still carrying, rocking the Glock, as you say. Uh, Full-size Glock 17. Um, I know I said for summer I'd be carrying that kel a little bit more. I actually thought I'd be carrying it more often than I do. Uh, I'd say maybe once every two weeks I'll grab the kel because I'm wearing shorts with no belt or something like that. You know, like some uh, gym shorts. Um, and I have to go to the store. Uh, more likely than not, if I'm wearing shorts, I'm wearing cargo shorts with my belt. And I can still support this uh, full-size frame here. I uh, still have the 19-round uh, magazine. Uh, same ammo. I actually ran a box of this ammo. Oh, man, expensive crap these days. Uh, I'd love to see ammo prices come down, uh, but that's just wishful thinking. Uh, anyway, uh, I ran a full box of these through my Glock uh, the last time I went shooting, uh, just to make sure it's going to cycle properly. Uh, whatever defense rounds you carry in your guns, you should shoot uh, at least you know a box or so through it to make sure it's going to work properly in your gun. Uh, the Glock pretty much eats up anything. Uh, you don't really have any problems with much ammo at all. But I wanted to test it anyway. And I was, I was shooting some of the phone books I had left over. And uh, man, this is some nasty stuff. It was really ripping them up. Um, but anyway, full 19 rounds. And uh, still using the inside the waistband holster. Working out good. Uh, like I said, I'm a bigger guy, so I can get away with carrying this full-size frame. And it, it doesn't poke out or, or print at all. Uh, you really can't tell I have it, which is exactly what I want. Now, I live in Pennsylvania. I can carry it openly, um, but there's a lot of controversy uh, that surrounds that. I mean, I could flex my rights and just walk into a store with the gun on my side. Um, but, you know what? It causes more problems than it's worth. Uh, first of all, I, I don't really necessarily want people to know I have a gun. If I'm in a situation where someone's robbing the store, hey, guess what? I got a gun on my side. They're probably gonna just going to shoot me because <laughs> I'm a threat. So, uh, you know, you don't always want to just have people know you have a gun. And second of all, it's really for just the kind of ignorant people that don't really know that I'm allowed to do that, you know. So it'd be a hassle. They'd call the cops, you know. I wouldn't get in trouble, but they'd call the cops, and the cops would be like, you know, hey, you know, what are you doing? Even though, like, again, I wouldn't get in trouble for it. It's legal, but it's a hassle. And if the cops are hassled, sometimes they tend to hassle you. So, uh, you know, I don't want to deal with that whatsoever. So I do carry it concealed, um, so it's not an issue. Uh, another cool thing I picked up with my glasses is this big old 33 round magazine. Um, a lot of guys were waiting for me to get this. <laughs> uh, they saw my uh, 1911 15 round magazine and they said, well, you know, you got to get the big old Glock mag. Uh, most people who have Glocks have these. Uh, more likely than not, the 9mm version, although they do make these larger magazines, I think in 40 Smith & Wesson and I believe even in 45 ACP, uh, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but anyway, the 9mm are most common. Now these are made for the Glock 18, which is basically this exact same gun, only fully automatic. Uh, I believe you see that in the movie The Matrix, where it looks like he's a regular Glock, but it's, it's fully automatic. Um, and that's the Glock Model 18. But this will fit in all 
all of the 9mm Glocks, which is the 18, the uh, full size 17, which I have, the medium size 19, and then of course the smallest one, the baby Glock, the model 26. Um, so it's pretty cool. It fits all the 9mm Glocks. Again, it's a 31 round magazine with a plus 2 base plate, so it's a total of 33 rounds. Uh, I have this for two reasons. Uh, first reason is, and by the way, yes, my gun is uh, empty. No magazine in there, nothing in the chamber. So, we're clear there. Safe direction, dry fire. Um, so I have this magazine for two reasons. First is when I do my shooting. Uh, it's just a fun plinking magazine. You know, it, it's fun to have 33 rounds ready to go whenever you want. Um, you don't have to do any magazine changes, you know. If I'm doing some, you know, targeting, uh, target uh, shots where I'm just aiming, trying to get really good grouping, stuff like that. Like I said, I, I can go through 33 rounds without um, having to change my magazine out. Now these days, it's not always a good thing because ammunition is just so darn expensive. Um, I won't be using this a lot, really, to be honest. But it's cool to have. And another reason I thought it'd be cool is to have this in my car. Uh, load this up with some extra hollow points and have this under my driver's seat. Uh, again, maybe being overprepared here. Some people might say being paranoid, but the people who say that's paranoid usually aren't into guns to begin with. Um, but you just, you never know. If the crap hits the fan, I mean, really, something goes wrong. At least I'm prepared for it. I'll have 19 rounds in here and 33 rounds under my seat. So if for some reason I get into a situation, and believe me, this is extremely rare, probably will never happen, but you never know. I get into a situation where I'm in my car, I'm being shot at, Maybe I'm using my car as uh, you know protection. I'm hiding behind it to use it as a barrier. Um, guess what? I reach under the seat. I got 33 more rounds ready to go. So why not? You know, this is, can be sitting in my closet waiting for me to shoot, or it can be in the car. Why not have it in the car? You know. So that's cool. Just another option there. Um, that's pretty much it. So I start off showing you my work EDC, and then I rolled into when I get home and what changes. And again, guys, you know, it's constantly changing, constantly rotating things. I love to try out new blades, new gear. Um, flashlight, I still love my Phoenix. It's so cool. But I'm really kind of missing that uh, Nightcore D10. Um, Phoenix is coming out with a couple other cool lights soon. So, I don't know, it'll probably change. But so far, this works. This is what I'm doing. Um, wow, 17 minutes, or 17 and a half minutes. Well, if you didn't fall asleep throughout this video, uh, I congratulate you. <laughs> Welcome to the end. Um, I appreciate you guys watching, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Take care.